Hey Phoenix, gets to go to school this morning. Poor Ella Beck still isn't 100%. And to be safe, we were keeping her home and she needs to go to her doctor's appointment today anyway. Say bye bye. Bye bye, sissy. Bye-bye, Gigi. Yeah, bye-bye, Sissy. You ready to get ready for the day? No. Oh, you want to go get
Hey guys, you've now made it to the haul portion of this video. Uh, you either skipped the beginning of this video, which I don't blame you if you did because I'd rather look at clothes myself, but I wanted to throw a little extra into this video than just a haul. Or you actually watched it, which if you did, I appreciate that too. Um, so I went to the thrift store today. I only made it to one thrift store because we had to take Ella back to the doctor to get her retest for flu, RSV, and COVID-19. All which came back negative. It was just a precaution for a week ago when we took her in to have her retested. And she's fine, just has a little eye infection. So we're gonna do some antibiotics to help with the eye and to clear the chest. But they say that it's more seasonal and they are pretty sure that it's not contagious since Phoenix and none of us has gotten it. She's been sick for on and off for like two weeks. So she ended up coming with us, but it took like three hours at the doctor's office because I got behind. So I didn't get to go to multiple stores like I like. So I had my receipt. Here's my receipt. It's the American Thrift Store. It's honestly the only decent large size thrift store we have in my county. Um, so I went in with a budget of $100 and I only spent $80.36, which was not bad. So the extra 20 is going towards groceries, which I'm going grocery shopping after I get this video up for y'all. So I got two miscellaneous objects I'll show you first. All right, so this pumpkin was $3.99. He is like porcelain, I think, and Ella Beck absolutely fell in love with him. So I had to get him. She's absolutely in love with pumpkins this year, which is great with it being fall and Halloween. There's pumpkins everywhere and you'll hear her say pumpkin all the time. So I picked it up for her, but of course she doesn't get to play with it because it's like a porcelain type thing. And since Phoenix went to school, like y'all saw at the beginning of the video, she did not get to come thrift shopping with us today. I will be going thrift shopping again in the next week or two after our bills are paid to get more stuff. Um, but since Ella came, when my kids come with me places like the thrift store or grocery shopping, they get to pick one item. And Ella Beck's item was this Halloween bucket. It was $1.99. Not bad. It's just a little tin bucket. So that's what she picked today. All right. So we're going to start with my husband's stuff. He literally got one item. The thrift store that I went to, their men's section was awful today. Absolutely awful. I don't know if it had been picked through already or if they don't have everything out since it literally just started getting chilly in the evenings and in the mornings here in South Alabama. So I don't think it's been picked through super good yet, but I was going in looking for casual stuff and nighttime stuff since, like I said, it's really only in the evenings and in the mornings that it gets chilly right now, but I wanted to get a head start on fall and winter clothes because we all needed it this year. But a lot of this stuff was like Tommy Hilfiger and it was like super expensive, like eight, nine, ten dollars. And I try my best to stay under the four dollar mark because it, in my opinion, I could go to Walmart and get a shirt for five dollars for brand new instead of paying for a used shirt that might be lesser quality because it's been used so much. But it's just my opinion. Everybody's different. Um, so he got one item, and all he got was this little PlayStation shirt. There's nothing on the back um, and it was $3.99 so it was right at that mark. Sometimes I do buy stuff that go over my $4 rule but I try to stay under it as much as possible when I can especially for kids clothes. So that's the only thing my poor husband got and then I was very good and I only bought one thing for baby O because I don't want to buy things until after the baby shower for my family and friends locally and the virtual baby shower I'm planning on throwing for my fans since y'all asked. So I bought this one thing. It is this, it's super fuzzy since she'll be born probably in January even though she's due in February. It has the little bear and it's a Carter's suit and it's a size three months. And it was only $1.39, so I had to grab it, snag it up real quick. But my husband was very proud that I didn't come home with a whole bunch of new baby stuff. So, and now we're going to move into my own stuff. Sorry, I was listening to my husband. He's streaming while I'm filming. Um, I bought myself new shoes because our dog has peed on two pair of my shoes so far. And I washed the first pair and they absolutely fell apart and the second pair shrunk after I washed them. 
So I bought me these. They're not the prettiest, but they'll work. They're super soft and fuzzy on the inside. Um, they were $4.99. So like I said, I go over sometimes. It's really, really hard to find shoes that are under like the four dollar so but got these they're like velvet and then fuzzy he and then that's just my god i'm sorry i know y'all can hear him but our house is tiny and there's only so much filming space and we only have so much time in the day all right now i was able to find a couple more clothing items for myself than i was my husband so i got these leggings they're not maternity leggings but they're oversized leggings so they're just black and i just got them two sizes too big to grow with my bump and these were a dollar 99 they're just a simple black pair and then i got this this was from the maternity section it is 4.99 i couldn't find any thing in the maternity for less than 4.99 which is absolutely horrible in my size i guess i'm just that size that's average for people to buy so it's this it says it's a maternity dress and it's not long sleeves but i can doll it up because i do know i'm getting a couple shawls for christmas so if it's a dress it is heckin short and i will be wearing tights under 100 percent then this was 3.99 um it's not maternity but i got it two sizes too big to fit my bump it's just like this really nice knit sweater that's kind of like off the shoulder so that's cute and then i really love this this was 4.99 so i didn't obey my rules at all for my clothes personally but like i said the selection was crap and i absolutely hate that it was crap but that's okay I needed clothes more than anybody because I got rid of a lot of my maternity stuff because we thought we were done having babies after Elevec. So I got this Winnie the Pooh wet shirt. It's like a flannel material. It says, what does it say on it? People say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. So I thought that was cute. And I wanted to open this on camera real quick it's not thrift but um i got a subscription to naughty knickers it is a underwear brand and i literally only bought the subscription for their spooky bundle because you can only do the spooky bundle um with the uh if you get like an actual uh subscription so i got a subscription for one penny a month for 3.99 i think and they just came in so Right now I have them in my maternity size, so they're a little bit big. They won't fit me after I have the baby, but that's fine. So this is just the regular pair that came in. Uh, that's the subscription, so I could get the spooky bundle, and I'm so excited about the spooky bundle. Even though it has one style of underwear I don't wear, I will still wear it at least once. So, this is a style I don't wear. I do not wear this. So it's like a spider web thong. And honestly, I might not even wear it. And I might give it to a friend without wearing it. But there's that. And then what? these are the ones I was excited about. The front. And you see the spider web pattern. And the back is just lace. Which is fine with me. And then it comes with these really, really, oh, I'm going to love this. It's super high cut. Um, I can't tell what the front and the back is. I think it goes like this, but they're just cotton. Oh yeah. So there's that. And all right, that is everything that's miscellaneous that is mine or Christopher's. So now let's get straight into the girls stuff. Let's start with Phoenix's stuff. Phoenix did not have the greatest selection at the thrift store either. So I did the best that I could to get her stuff. And I will definitely be going back to get more stuff. I think I went over my budget 
of clothes on one item for her since she didn't get as much I went ahead and got her a cute little thing kind of make up for it because I feel bad but one of the items she got is this tutu it's a Minnie Mouse tutu it was a dollar ninety nine it has the shorts built into it. She doesn't like them if the shorts aren't built into them. And then we got this shirt for $2.49. And then this is a $1.99 shirt. This is really cute and I'm really glad I picked it up. I do need to get some like tights and stuff to go under like some of the dresses for them, but that'll be fine. Now this dress is kind of like an in-between size, like Phoenix can wear it, but Ellabeck could too, if I styled it correctly. So it would be like a little big on Ellabeck, but it might be a little too small on Phoenix, like lengthwise, cause it's a dress, but it would fit them right across the chest. So I'll just have to play stylist when I style this one. Did I tell y'all how much that love one was? That one was 199. This one is 349. This is one of the ones that kind of go against my rule, but like I said, I kind of had to today, but I still stayed well under budget, thankfully. This is $1.99. My grandmother actually picked this out for it. It's super cute. It's super stretchy, so it should grow with her, but it's kind of see-through, so I will probably get her like a shirt to go underneath it. Um, This is $2.49. And then this one is also $2.49. This one's also kind of sheer, but it's sparkly. You can't really see the sparkles. Oh, yes, you can, look. So she'll love that. And then this one is $2.49 as well. And then this is the dress that I was willing to break my rule of stay under $3 for kids for. This one's $3.49. This heart here is an actual little pocket. So I thought that was cute. Now let's do Ellabeck stuff. All right, Ellabeck got some shoes cause she, Phoenix got a whole bunch of shoes for her birthday that recently happened. So I didn't get her a bunch of shoes. Um, if you do wanna see her birthday vlog, I have that posted and I will link it in the description. And I also have her birthday haul uh, linked in the description as well. So, Ellabeck got these little black boots. They were $1.99. They're kind of like Uggs for babies. So, just these. And then she actually helped me pick these out. These little iridescent, I guess you'd call them. They do not look that colorful in real life. Like, at all. But these were $2.99. And she absolutely loved them. They're one size too big, but she'll grow into them and she'll wear them. I mean, I absolutely adore these. All right, let's get into her stuff. I found two really, really good finds with Ellabeck. Um, Just like Phoenix's red dress that I just showed y'all was a really good find. Um, So I got this pajama set for $2.99 not bad for pajama set in my opinion and these are the pants so that's cute and here is a really good find that i got for ellabeck it was 279 and it's puma as the hood the sleeves the zipper it doesn't have feet in it but that's fine ella doesn't even like anything on her feet if we put socks on her to sleep then she'll take them off so that was a really good find and I'm really glad I found that. And then this is 139 and it was actually on a 30% discount because I got an orange tag and the orange tags were discounted. My sweater, knitted sweater looking thing was also 30% off. So that brought it down under the 499. But this is the one I got for Ellabeck. It's not really my style, but she liked it. Like the style I like putting her in. This one's $1.99. 
Um, and then here's another set I was able to get her. It was a, where's the tag? It was a $1.99 set. This one's much uh, thicker. It's more fleece-like, so it'll definitely be more for the winter instead of just the fall. So, and then I did get this footie. I will fight her in it if I need to, but it's $1.39. It just has a little dog on it. The feet have the grips on it so she won't go busting her head everywhere even though she does that anyway. And then the last thing that I think is a good find that I got for Ella Beck, it was a dollar thirty nine. And it is this amazing dress that as long as she still fits in it by Christmas, which I'm pretty sure she will, it's uh one size too big for her. This will be her Christmas dress this year, if all things work out. So it's super cute. It's like that felt on the top with the bow and the detailing. So I was really excited to find this. And I tried really hard to find something for Phoenix for Christmas. But like I said, they didn't really have much. And it really sucked. So that is the haul. That is everything I got today. And I came in $20 on a budget, like I said. So I am very proud about, of myself about that one. Thank y'all for watching and taking your time out of your day. So... Again, I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, I'd love if you've clicked that subscribe button. We post at least once a week, and this is actually the second video for this week. So sometimes we do post more, but I try to be as active as possible. So I hope to see y'all in our next video, which will be next week. Bye!